Hey, this is a recorded session from Twitch. It will be a very long video, about two hours, and to help you to jump directly to the part that interests you, I put timestamp in the description just down below. If you want to know exactly when I'm streaming, go visit twitch.tv slash fbucheros. But for now, let's watch this session. Welcome Cloudies, welcome to the show. I'm Frank Boucher, your host. I'm a Microsoft Cloud Advocate and for the next two hour and a half, <laughs> today, still two hour and a half, uh, we'll be having fun today. Today we're working in C Sharp, Blazor to be exactly, so .NET Core, C Sharp, Blazor. We're working on, we're working on kind of two product today. What well, we'll start with the tiny Blazor admin. That's a little website that we did. It's in uh, WebAssembly, so it's still in C-sharp, but client-side, kind of cool. Uh, we did that, it's super secure because we're using Azure Active Directory. Nice, so no password management required for us. Just done, it's included in Azure, so it's free. And then we use that tool to call some Azure function. Azure function is serverless, so very budget friendly, cool again, and those serverless functions are to manage, they are part of a backend that is another project we work on called the uh, AZ URL shortener, meaning creating short URL. The main idea is to have a super budget friendly tools that anybody and everybody can have. When we created the first one, we were waiting for some technology to come out to come out. So we did serverless part, the back end was done very nicely, budget friendly and everything. The management, the administration website was done with a regular website. And um, yeah, it's a bit heavy, so a little bit more expensive, not like crazy expensive, but you know, like it, you, you feel it in your pocket. So we now that Blazor is out and GA and everything, we are building with that. Now it's time to update. So there's a few little things that are still need to be done. And we'll start merging those two things together and try to make it as simple as it is to deploy. Not sure, previous, the previous version was one click deploy. Hopefully I will be able to reproduce that, not sure. So today, if we fix all the little things that are left to do in a tiny Blazor admin, just to get equal to the previous version, we'll start planning that. Uh, otherwise I will be planning alone and then we'll be executing and I will be validating with you on the next stream. Ready? Let's share that screen, see what we have done. So let's go, let, let's go full screen. Let's go full screen. Yeah. So. Previously on Frank's channel. Exactly. So previously we were done with the tiny. Oh, let's let's switch board. Let's go cloud bot. So we were working on this item here, the building a stream node generator. Building stream. No, not cloud bot. <laughs> The tiny Blazor admin. I was like, what? That's not the good project. So we were creating the minimal via viable product. So we were doing that. And archive was not working. Oh yeah, that's true. So we were calling all the Azure functions. So we did that. Uh, the archive URL was not done because we discovered that the uh, URL was created as a uh, delete. It's a HTTP call and it was a delete before instead of a post. So what I did is I changed that. So let's switch now to 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 be able to to check this check. Hey, <laughs> Michael, how are you? Nice to see you. I'm very well. Thank you. I didn't have my second cup of coffee because I was. Uh, in the zone this morning and I didn't see the time flying but you know 
Um, yeah, okay, so to be able to check this little checkbox here, can I, I, like, I, I think I said that, how many times did I said that on, on, on the stream? I need to create a script that I double click and open all the tools I need to stream. I forgot my uh, zoom tool. My zooming tool, I need to do that. Just a little bash grip. Uh, zoom it, boom. So it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. Copper Birdie, how are you, my friend? It's been like forever. Welcome. So that was the function. So to be able to check this one, we needed to fix the Azure function first. And in the meantime, um, also, I wanted to secure the function. Just need to do a little, a little something here. So welcome, shout out to Copper Birdie and uh, Live Coder. I, I, I kind of briefly introduced myself. I never say, it. like I feel always like, yeah, okay, let's go straight, straight show the stuff, not talk about me, but I am part of a, a Live Coders. Life coders are a team of fantastic, crazy people. I say crazy because they share so much information. Doing a bunch of stuff, like in many different languages. There are C Sharp, JavaScript, Python, machine learning, AI, uh, like games. There's tons of stuff. They are sharing it. You could find them if you go at livecoder.dev. You know what? Let's put the link drop the link boom in the chat you know dropping 2020 style <laughs> um because everything is just falling down in 2020 right except the live coders were just like yeah growing you can from there in the top right corner i have the website on twitch and i should mute it and uh, coding garden is streaming up next but you will see all the streamer live right now so you know anytime you want to see who's live what you can see interesting go there you will have a lot of fun also a thing I like about the other website sometimes say ah, I don't know like there's no one streaming when I want to go like there you go maybe you want to when people are streaming so you could go I'm not sure if it's still active because last time I checked, the eat map was, they had some issue, but it's like it's an open source project. So if you click here, so this week's stats, so 88 live streamer, if you click the eat map, ah, that's cool. So you see now, like there's always a live coder streaming for you. For you. Oh, I should do, I should do that like this. For you. A little bit too much fun. See, I, I I didn't need a second coffee to to wake up. It's just like I was like, oh. I put my uh, espresso machine on a smart timer, a smart plug. You know, like you know, it's a power plug, but then like you could connect it to the Wi-Fi. And so I yesterday before going to the bed, I said it. Okay, start. But I made a mistake. So this morning when I woke up, the machine was not started because it was starting an hour later. I was like, oh, I need my coffee right now. So I just did something else because the machine need a few minutes to warm up. And I was like, okay, second coffee. But then I forgot because I was in the zone. So where I was before Mr. Copper Birdie totally squirrel me oh yeah I was showing okay so before we need to be able to check this check we need to go in the Azure URL shortener here and there's another task so it was two tasks but I did a lot of it, of it offline uh, we needed to change that archive mode because it's not a delete and uh, it was set as a HTTP delete so I change it to post and then I added the Azure function back in. So if I show you, let's go for the URL shortener. So that's kind of the main project initially. 
and the tiny blazer admin is just a UI in front of it. Hey, hello, Nick. How are you? I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? So tiny blazer admin and this one. So this one I push to uh, right now to a new branch that I call, I think, uh, secure. There it is. So the secure one is having all the backend we need. And to main, I did change. Is it main or I forgot? Not sure if I did main or remote tracking. Well, you know what? The, the best way to to see it is to double check. Um, how to use how it works. I had a documentation, so our like archive is now part of it. Yeah, and it's a post, so I did it. <laughs> so now I had more doc because some doc were missing. So I did I did a lot of stuff. I was alone this weekend. Temperature was not good, so I said, you know what? Well, let's have some fun. Let's code, and I I did it offline. Uh, because yeah, I was I don't know. I'm sorry if I uh, offend some of you because I didn't work online, but I was just feeling like, yeah, I just want to be offline and do some work and watch, listen music and drink some nut water beverage and just, you know, things. It's very appreciated. Uh, how can I say your name? I Akok Bati Akok Bati Thank you um, If you miss like I will do this parentheses last thing and after that we focus on the code promise <laughs> If you are interested if you missed an episode or, or anything so right now I don't know where you're watching this if I'm talking to you <laughs> the viewer right now so it's on twitch twitch.tv slash fbutros that's live two times a week on wednesday and friday but then i archive one week after exactly seven days after i archive that on youtube to find the link for the youtube channel i have three youtube channel but you know the one where twitch content goes it will be um, in the about section so it's called beyond behind my cloud and since i only have like 20 two followers I think you need 100 to have your name so right now there's there's not a lot of video and just 22 subscribers a little bit less than my other YouTube channel right but that's fine so anyway so if you missed anything and you would like I update the page this morning and that's part of the thing I was doing this morning I update the twitch page so now it point to this page where I archive everything Okay, cool. So the function are there. Another thing I did for the function is, yep, I told you I was like it was a weekend, so it was a very long. Set. I should, I should have stream, and I like I would could say, you know what? I did a stream of eight hours or something like that. Uh, this this tool. Damn. Okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do a timer though. So, Mr. Nick Roy just redeem using a light team. So let's go. So everyone put your sunglasses. We are going into the light Oh, let's try night all light boom and the countdown is started five minutes hey hard moro dev how are you oh yeah you prefer c sharp than uh well good for you i do a little bit of both uh I, I'm a C sharp developer, uh, like, but um, 
I thought it was I I like the the node. Like I have a lot of fun on a Friday when I, I stream nodes JavaScript. I just thought it was different. I was learning something different, uh, and I was streaming yesterday with uh, Tyranny uh, on the Microsoft Dev Developer Channel, and uh, we were doing like a simple website deploying in an Azure and, and stuff like that. And I learned again so much. So I think what I like is learning. So well, not I think I know. You know by now, <laughs> I should know by now, right? <laughs> but. Uh, you know, it's I've not, I've been working in that field for a little while, so uh, I should I should know by now that the thing I like is learning. So what I did here is I passed through all those functions because now our interface is passing some security token because we got authenticated in the Tiny Blazor admin through Azure Active Directory. You know, so super secure. We don't need to manage any password, anything. And Azure Active Directory is free. So since we are already in Azure, let's use it. But now the function was still not done because I was focusing on only one project and this project is using two kind of GitHub projects. Hopefully it's not too complicated to follow. So what I did is I update every function. So here I have all the function like archive is the delete, we needed to change that one. We'll spend a bit more time because that one needed also to be to change the HTTP call type. So the uh, stats that we don't leverage yet. So like as soon as we're done mixing everything, that's one of the thing I wanna bring in the, in the UI. So the get need to be also the redirect. The, red, the redirect is the one you call when you use uh, one of those short urinals. So that one I don't want to have it protected. I want it wide open because I don't want any trouble uh, when you call a f like you know a short link. A URL shortener, like that's the create one. I should have said create, but it is what it is. And the update. So I did all that, and in all those functions, let's start by the archive. I know it sounds strong, strange maybe. But in the archive, is it big enough, the code? I can maybe go a little bit bigger. Why do I don't have any notification this morning? What's in Quebecois? Michael asked. Quebecois is a, a French, but there's a little twist with that French. It's a, the French from French Canadian. It's different from the French from France or French from Belgium, or French from Morocco, or French from... Where, like, I know there's some uh, place in Africa that uh, speak French, but uh, I don't know all of them. But yeah, so the French Quebecois is just a little, little bit different. Stupid question. There's no stupid questions, uh, Raphael. Uh, sorry, Raph. Uh, the question is, can I use F sharp with Blazor? I don't know. I would. I read. I think no. But uh, I don't know. Let's let's Google it together. Apparently there's someone trying to do that in a bolero. So because Blazor is uh, like like there's the Blazor server side and there's the Blazor WebAssembly. In fact, it's just Razor. Uh, uh, so apparently you could try that thing. I never did any uh, F sharp. In my mind, F sharp is really good when you're like scripting or like thing like that. I never did try that. Maybe I should eventually. <laughs> Your time is done. Let's go back to Cobalt. Boom. Um, yeah, learning is the best. It's good. I like it too. 
Sorry, just wondering, why do you need a separate folder for each URL? Um, oh, that's how um, Azure function works. Is it true? I think I could have done it. You're right. I could have done it in like one, like have a function folders. Uh, I think it by default when you create um, a new function, it create the function inside a folder and then I just kept adding following the pattern. So you know what, I never try, you know, I, I could have like URL, fu uh, URL functions or just like method and then I have all my function over there. Uh, I just followed the pattern. I never, I, I don't know, like I, I think it could work. I don't, I'm not sure. Just try to see, could it work? I'm like, I, we could try to do it. Maybe not today because I would like to uh, make some progress on that project, but uh, try to break, re-architect the function. Yeah, probably. Good question. Uh, Proanity? Good question. Thanks. Thanks for asking. So Michael's asking, ah, so rendering that meaning that you would speak in French Quebecois dialect. <laughs> it's not Quebecois dialect, it's a, a, an accent. So most of the time when I speak French, I try to do it with a, an inter international accent. Um, but if I just let it go, uh, I have a Quebecois accent, but it's not a dialect. It's, it's French, it's just some accent. There's a few little expression, just like the French from France as have uh, also an accent and like different little expression, but it's not a dialect. It's not like a language by itself. It's just, you know, it's fun. So that's why. I, I put it this so yeah so if you redeem that and you uh, you can ask me to say something like you put it in English I will translate it and say it with in um, in Quebecois so I think uh, I forgot was it you uh, Copper Brady I'm not sure if you're still there I think you did a clip on me saying like uh, calling ordering beers or, or something or maybe it was uh, Michael Jolie I think ordering two beers something like that Uh, the proxy server, so the proxy is another function that you could use, but I right now I don't have, like I have the proxy, it's here, because I didn't have a lot of proxies, and I just put it there. So I think I, like, I, I, should, I should move this, this one there. But like the proxy is a proxy, so now by default, uh, if you call in this function, then I use the URL, the short URL, and I pass it as a parameter so this way I could use it inside my function but uh, you're right I'm pretty sure this one should go whoops in there to follow my pattern or maybe they could just like all be mixed up like having like the function and one proxy because a proxy is definitely different like this is a proxy it look very different than a function so you're right I should I should re restructure Maybe, you know what, let's, I think, can you talk a little bit about the proxy? Yeah, okay, so I just did, but yeah, so the proxy, whoops, the proxy here, like I said, it's a definition and you could remap some stuff. So when people are calling your function, since my function are HTTP calls, so people are calling and doing like, yeah, okay, I want to, say something so right now the root so if you don't specify anything then i will redirect you to the default redirect and that one will be a default redirect will be like okay like whatever and then like i'm passing the parameter has a short url and i just use that there's there's just a way to proxy or make redirect or repackage function if you want 
else but what I was about to do is in get Kraken and here uh, let's uh, it's not really an issue something to do I think but um, I will put it in the issue folder so let's create that right now so um, Could we restructure the project code? And then I will I'll explain a little bit here. So add a description. So why proxy empty proxy folder um, uh, function by folder could we make it cleaner right is it is it about like would that make sense as a I know it's tiny I'm sorry zoom I didn't zoom the good one like this and we'll go and ask like it's an enhancement uh, it is a request help wanted yeah why not help wanted um, serverless backend good first issue I'm not sure because it could have some problem in it documentation definitely yeah I think that's good cool so we have four labels and milestone no milestone for now that should be good so voila we just had it Let's try to recap catch the catch the chat uh, I think the structure that you have is similar to how Azure organized the Azure fund yeah that's why like I deploy one and then added more and more and more and more and kept that pattern but doesn't mean it cannot be changed so like the proxy should definitely go in the proxy server I just don't want to do it now just before I start merging stuff so I want to keep that as clean as possible. It will be a little bit easier to move. And, and then we'll start, you know, improving after when it will be one project instead of two. No problem. I usually throw all my function into a folder and have... Okay, cool. So, yeah, I assume... I think because it's compiled doesn't matter. I think maybe if you're doing the JavaScript one... Or the C sharp script, maybe you need to have a specific uh, structure so, like, the uh, build engine could re understand things. But I think since it's a C sharp and it's compiled, that doesn't really matter. The URL shortener, Mr. Warm Oral. Oh, you didn't know about my. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of. Uh, like, I did a lot of video. I did even. Um, one on uh, channel nine with Scott Ensement. What's the best way? To, let's go uh, channel nine. Yeah, yesterday they published another video I did with Abel where I show uh, like the uh, variables in ARM templates. But the one I want to show you is on Azure Friday. Yeah, this one. Boom. So here, have a look, um, it's super cool and it will be even better when we merge the tiny blazer admin with that project because it will be super budget friendly, like very, very, very low expense and very performant. So, uh, and hopefully it will be as easy to deploy because right now it's one click. It's hard to beat though, right? Just think about it and you got it. But I think when I want to go, it, it might be like a little bit more, com like, not complicated, but like a, maybe two, three steps to deploy, but then it will also manage your domain name and a few other things. So, um, because I want to leverage the uh, static website. So, hopefully, but we'll see. There's, there's, there's a lot of works to do. 
Uh, let's see how the .NET Core makes backend services. There's tons of stuff you could do with .NET Core. Right now, the .NET Core that I use is uh, with uh, the Azure function, so uh, serverless. Pretty cool. Uh, thank you. Also, want to know about .NET Core? Looks like well, you find a good stream. You found a good stream. There's another also good stream you could have a look. Uh, so shout out to I don't know. Can I do that even if he's not there? Um. No, oh, it's C sharp Fritz. C sharp. All right. And then I'm sure we'll kill its name. Fritz. Let's validate that I have the good one. And I'll, then I will paste the link. Twitch. Is it a good one? And yeah. So C sharp Fritz is also streaming multiple time a week uh, and he's uh, doing all time C sharp C sharp Fritz so if you want to learn more about C sharp go there and what just did happen following so thank you for the the following mr. wormhole thank you I will put you in the show notes and oh, oh I didn't do any uh, Oh, I should do that before everyone nobody so let's do a load did it work bonjour hi that works but okay can I do cloud yeah can I do now scores yeah So uh, on Friday, like the why I just start to do a bunch of commands is uh, on a Friday I'm working on a chatbot that kind of be helping me to create the show notes and have a little bit more interaction with you, keeping score and stuff like that. So if you do the game doing drops, you could drop and parachute. The bot is keeping your score and your stats. You could ask him by uh, doing exclamation point stats. It will display your stats. And uh, now from time to session to session, I could load them and save them. And eventually, it will have all my show notes for me. But for now, I need to check, to track everything manually. So it was, I think I have your name in my clipboard. It was a new following, yep. So thank you for the following. Really appreciate it. And I'm at, how many followers do I have? I have 484 so close to 500 there's nothing at 500 that happens but uh that's cool <laughs> it's a round number half of a thousand it's crazy it's so crazy i just started streaming a few months ago but still i'm like you know like i say that and then today is my if we look the show note i'm the 117 stream so it's a lot of hours Wow, and it's a lot of fun. Okay, so so that's proxy. So hopefully I explain a little bit proxy what it was. Uh, like it definitely should be in the proxy server. So that's my mistake. So I did work on archive. Yeah, okay. So archive before it was done. It was the archive was done by one of you. One of uh, Cloudies did the archive and I think it was a good idea at the beginning. Uh, he set the method, the HTTP method, as a delete. Uh, but it's not a delete. And I passed some information. So when I was trying to call it from the uh, front end, like passing stuff like a lot, like an object, and calling a delete was not working very well. So I changed it to post. So now it's a little bit more consistent. And also archive is not a delete. It just changed the status. It's kind of a, uh, an update, but like undercover. So uh, I changed that. And also what I did, and I did that for all the functions. I so will show you in this one, but it's the same in everything, is now I pass the uh, 
token, so the claim principle. So in the tiny Blazor admin now we get authenticated with Azure. I will show that. I will do a demo after. Uh, and now I have this principle. So I have now a new validation where I check, hey, how are you connected? Right now I keep the name. Uh, I just had a log to use the name. I think we could use that in the future. We could have some permissions or create some groups. So maybe uh, you could have multiple admin going in the uh, portal and have different level of permission and stuff like that. So I just did want to say, is it like easy authenticated? I'd like to say, you know what, like who it is. So right now I kind of have an object here, object ID, I could have a little bit more. Uh, just like just to kind of remember me that we could do more with that and I think it was a request also from someone on the chat so yeah that's I just do that uh, if then the request is uh, where am I? yeah okay so I do a bunch of stuff in this function here let's jump into it so function 12 I check do I have a principal do I have an identity is it authenticated and like is it blah 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 and then I return that if something is missing then you're out you cannot call the Azure function you cannot validate no, like I don't do anything just like you're out if you pass the authentication uh, and auto by like right now or yeah authentication and uh, uh, yeah well look we if you are authenticated then you pass. There's no authorization level. It's just like everyone pass. Then there's all the other condition and that will change based on which function. So on that one, I'm just updating some status. So that's how it works. Cool. So it works the stats. Drop, 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 drop. Oh yeah, you had some issue, uh, more wormhole, Mr. Wormhole. What was it? I had tons of issue with Azure. And most of them were because of me. <laughs> but yeah, so share your experience. I'm, I'm interested. So what was the trouble? Where are you? Well, what was you trying? What? Yeah, what? What did you do? <laughs> what did you try to do? Wow. Someone was flying. Was it Max? Oh, that's Max Wheel. Oh, that's why. It's so cloudy here. It is. And we're just like waiting for a little more, Max. Max is one of my uh, colleague. Max, on Friday, we are building the CloudBot and uh, CB cloud bot you know like it's a chat bot but uh he's tracking your score so you could do exclamation point stats if you want to know your score uh but the of course we want to do more stuff so add more so you could use your points to add more cloud uh, you could become superman and fly around for a little while like we'll we'll do a lot more but for now we're just leveraging insta fluff game and having some fun with that so uh, yeah, that's not a good, oh no, you land, like wow, that's cool. No, one tentative, zero land, high score, zero. And I could do now something like scores, whoops, not, not in the code though, in the chat. If I do scores, this function is only for me, then it will trigger all the, um, the, uh, the score. And we have like, a, I did right now, CB is dancing a little bit, but uh, I need to redo those GIF. I did it with Camtasia, and Camtasia doesn't have a uh, transparent background. So, yeah, and Simon, Simon, you just have, uh, you just landed. Congrats. So anyway, so drops, and the drops now, like when they show the high scores, uh, it's ordered. I did that also. I told you I did a lot of work this Saturday or Sunday, I forgot. This weekend, last weekend, not this, last. Okay, so function, I feel like I'm all over the place today. <laughs> Sorry, I feel I'm all over the place today. Um, so that's done. It's in progress because um, I didn't want to put in VNEX yet. 
So that's why it's in a different branch. Just in case I need to push something before going to VNX. Because I think when we will merge, we have a lot of planning. Because if people are already using the Azure URL Sharner, I don't want to have too many breaking changes. And I want to have like a proper documented method to upgrade from A to B and like I have I want thing to be very smooth so we'll have a lot of planning to do so that's why I didn't put in VNX because when it's in VNX it go in in main so that's why right now it's still maybe it could do pending merge not sure I didn't do any PR but it's not in progress maybe I need something uh, another Another column, what could that be? It's a standard function. I don't need durable for that kind of work. It's very snappy execution. Um, does waiting in a branch make sense? It won't happen very often though, but uh, cool. So this is there. And now let's go back in the tiny blazer admin. Cool. So now the minimal via viable product, we can check this one and this one is now done. Yay. Cool. Oh, I never assigned it to me. Or, or was it? Oh yeah, it was assigned. Yeah. Frank, lead, read to do what? Like, I, I don't have VNX here? Oh, yeah, I know, because the project is, the project is nothing. So, right now we have the viable, my, uh, my, viable, my animal project. Let's see. Um. So that's my tiny blazer admin. Let's let's do a demo. Um, if I go in my settings right now, it is calling. The URL shortener service, so it's calling in Azure. And it's also authenticated, so perfect. So in this tiny thing let's open the portal you know what let's grab the name go in the portal go in the Azure portal just to show you that this function is running the last latest bits um, what that was interesting I never saw that that page. Okay, let's go here. Okay, wow, that was strange. I never had that kind of a thing. Hey, and someone just beat his eye score because CB is dancing. Maxime Rouillet, excellent. So every time you beat your own best scores, CB will be dancing over my head. Yeah, I fell to Ut in the Azure portal. I never had that. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Trying to see if I did some I was playing around yesterday with if I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so oh, it's this one, but you know, like we could search it just like this. So let's go in the Azure function. 
So this is the Azure function. If I expand functions, we'll have all our function. Here they are. And uh, what I want to see right now, what I want to show you is here in the, whoops. Ah, oh, come on, Frank. The deployment center. We'll go explore this. Because I want to show you, since I'm deploying from GitHub, Oh no, it's not true. Uh, yeah, usually it's what I did. I do. I did. I did. Blah, blah. <laughs> and I still have so much to do. I cannot even speak. What happened? Oh man. So what I did to deploy the function is I, I didn't right click deploy. So Damien won't be mad at me. What I did is I used this extension called Azure here and I deploy the function. Oh, could it be that? It signed me out here too. Oh, Max, did you see that? Let, let me uh, zoom out a little bit. So before you had the uh, Azure so here you uh, just want to come on. I want to zoom zoom. Why? Okay, zoom. So here is the Azure function uh, thing and it's to manage your subscription. You have function here in uh, Hopper. You have the website. So that's not new. It's been there for a while and you could change your subscription. I forgot where what it is uh, here. In the bottom, you could change here by clicking and changing which active subscription you have because you could have multiple. When you start working on Azure, if you, it's part of your job, you will have multiple because you, maybe you're working with different clients or you have QA, dev, you know, like different environment. Sometimes you have a lot of subscription. So that was the way. But now, now there's, I can't, now there's this, this thing here in VS Code. Did you see that? So you could do, but I don't know why it says I'm not signing in any account, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I saw that yesterday on, uh, I think it was, was it Tyranny who showed me that? I forgot. Anyway, I need to learn, to learn a little bit more hard works, but you have you can have different accounts. Um, quickly, I quickly check the repo, uh, Mister Wormhole. Okay, the uh, okay, cool. Well, uh, if you have any question, feel free to ask. Uh, cool game. Can you control where the drop? So Simon, the the drop game is not from me. Is from uh, Instafluff. Instafluff is another live coder on Twitch. He's awesome. He's doing a bunch of stuff. I just want to mute it. Mute. Uh, if you go Instafluff, so Instafluff do crazy things like that. Uh, robot to play game automatically and stuff like that super fun and he did a bunch of um, of games if you go on if you check you know on the target so the target just here you see pixel fluff if you go to that url you have a bunch of different games and you could add them to your stream just by adding a layer and pointing the the url uh it's totally fine and i, I was planning to update the game to add more control and add some functionality and stuff kind of branching but the game is private so uh, I, I couldn't do that so I decided that instead I will do my own stuff but first I needed to learn a little bit more about JavaScript and node because I didn't do any node in JavaScript for the past X and Y years you know just like two three years and um, yeah, yesterday with Tyranny was like, yeah, super old, very, very old. And I was like, yeah, did you hear at the beginning when I said I didn't code JavaScript for 15 years? And yeah. So yeah, before adding more stuff to the game or creating your own version, 
I decided to do the chatbot. Uh, cool game, blah, blah, blah. Could you, uh, so Mr. Wormhole, could you create an issue with that? I will be super pleased if you do that. Uh, the, 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 the naming, I did a typo in the, the stuff. Or, or even better, do a repo and I will add you. We know if you if you go to, uh, like you, you probably notice that on this repo, come on, click. There's the contributor at the end here. So do a PR, fix it, do a PR. I, I merge, like except if something is really wrong, uh, most of the time what I will do is I will ask you to change it. But otherwise, yeah, feel free. Like it's uh, an open source project. Uh, I'm merging everything. There's even now people doing some, so they took the back end of URL shortener and they did it with uh, Flow to create uh, URL shortener. Someone did it with uh, SharePoint. Uh, so I need to integrate those things. I think he did a PR, just need to review it. Yeah, there's a pull request now. Uh, I need GitHub action, friends. Need help for... I need help for GitHub actions. Or someone need, or you need. I could do an I, I it could be a nice column. I saw you. Yeah, I just, I just signed me in and it, it worked. I'm assuming Max, you're talking about that. Did I miss something? Need help with the GitHub action? Uh, I'm not sure I will be doing GitHub Action today. I might be doing GitHub Action. I might use GitHub Action to deploy like when I will be doing V1 of the uh, URL shortener to kind of leverage the tiny Blazor admin in it because I think I will be deploying those things to uh, Azure Static website and it will at the same time help me to manage the domain name and a few little things. But uh, I'm not sure I need to plan, I think paper plan even, just to make sure because I want to keep that one is one click deploy from GitHub. Like you click this button, you have it in your subscription. Uh, so I want to have something as close as possible to this for the next version. So I just need to make sure things go well. And if I want to do GitHub action, then I need to fork. If I fork, uh, this button won't work. So I'm not sure anymore. I need to I need to plan that better. Um, can you use a table storage for free? What? Without CosmoDB? Yeah, like I'm not using CosmoDB in this project. I'm using uh, Mr. Wormhole. The question was, can you use table storage for free without CosmoDB? So uh, Cosmo star the storage, table storage are not free. They are just very, 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 very budget friendly. Uh, and that's what I use. I don't use Cosmo. I use the Cosmo SDK to make my queries because I felt like it was very efficient and simplest way and that's kind of a twist that a lot of people did didn't do uh, like I'm using storage so very I don't want to say cheap because cheap look bad but you know like very cheap storage so cloud, uh, table storage and then I mean just using this SDK to uh, query it uh, that's why you, like you, I could have done it in HTTP call or whatever I just use the SDK um, but yeah what does it do? <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> beep! I should beep myself. Oh no! Oh no! Let's let's start over. Oops! <laughs> Max, I don't follow you. So I saw. Okay, let's. Uh, trust me, I have seen weirder thing in CosmoDB. Loading. To use it again. CosmoDB is super cool, but just I don't think I needed that for this project. Like I were just like we're having two little tables, and it's like it's one simple use. It's always one service calling it. That's not like everywhere. So I definitely didn't need anything for CosmoDB. I could have using it because there's a free free tiers now in CosmoDB, but uh, I'm using storage. 
Uh, I'm not saying I won't use any other source of data, but I think for now storage is plenty for our, for our needs because this is meant for anyone, not like yeah, I am, uh, I don't know, Netflix and I want to create short URL. Like maybe they should have something stronger than my little tools. Well, definitely today because it's not strong enough. Like it doesn't do a lot of stuff, but uh, it's a work in progress. It's a good way to learn Azure at least. Um, drop, 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 drop. Insta fluff. Wow, Stefan. So HY Stefan 99. That's a score, buddy. Nice to see you, by the way. Thanks. Thanks for coming, joining us. Um, yeah, that's... The... Oh, did you bump into it, Mr. Uh, Iras? This is why you say welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm not landing. Yep, nope. Not every time, Max. Uh, stats. That's a good score, Steph. Um, tentative 10. Oh, I should say I should say the name now because in the chat it doesn't say the name, right? It display it in the uh, toaster notification on top of the screen, but it doesn't say that. Stats, boom. Uh, Oran Barry, welcome to the stream. Do you recommend studying .NET Core, assuming proper programming background? Oh yeah, .NET Core is very cool. Like the fact that you could do, if you learn .NET Core, you could do now .NET, you could program on any platform. It's kind of cool. So if you wanna run on Linux, if you wanna do stuff for Windows or Mac, you could do it, it will work. So I think it's very nice, it's very well structured. So I really like strong type. So right now I'm learning JavaScript on my side and uh, what I miss is the strong type. And before anybody say, yeah, just do TypeScript. I want to learn the Node and the JavaScript, like the modern ways. And that's why I'm not doing it in TypeScript because I want to learn under it. Uh, I think when I will feel a little bit more comfortable with JavaScript today and Node, I will probably start using TypeScript. But I, I want it to feel like, you know, the base before going up. But in .NET, you have all the strong type, you have all the best practices. It's an open source project, super active. There's plenty of tools coming and like stuff. Really nice. So yeah, Oren, you should totally do it. And I like, were you there when I, I share a C Sharp Fritz channel before? Follow him on uh, on Twitch. He's an awesome programmer. He do a lot of time. A beginner tutorial like doing like a full day or stuff like that really really interesting and i'm also streaming in c sharp every wednesday because now fr before it was like twice a week but now on friday we just play with javascript but you feel free to join and ask c sharp question i will be happy to help um dot net excellent thank you for your the link max good link yep Max is also focusing on uh, .NET, so um, yeah, feel free to also, he's tr he did stream a few times, not regular, I think, or maybe you are back to regular streamer, streaming, Max, but... Um, uh, Mr. Warmore, my Azure subscription is Ed. I'll just create another one, sir. <laughs> That's easy. <laughs> That's easy. Max says, Frank, would you be interested in a collab to do a deployment with GitHub Action? Yeah. Not today, but in the future. Yeah, of course. Because you want to learn it or you want to teach it or you just want to have some fun with it, Max? Do you mean on the Microsoft Developer channel? Or this channel. I'm, 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 you know, like, buddy, <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I'm in whatever, buddy. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Drop, drop, drop. Mm, I see. Seriously? That drop was. <laughs> 
No, I lost! Oh, what happened? I, I, I should have a replay button for like... Uh, oh, I learned there's... Oh, yeah, but I'm still learning. Yeah. I was soon... Yeah, I think I, like initially I was planning to do that cloud stuff and then move to OBS with all my new setup. But uh, I don't think the cloud stuff will be like finished in a few weeks. So uh, I think I will start migrating and uh, I'm still learning a few kind of advanced or key tricks in OBS because I'm using Streamlab OBS. And the more and more I learn about OBS, the more and more I like OBS. So I think I will be switching to OBS soon. And uh, this morning I was watching while eating my breakfast. I was uh, watching a video and they had some shortcut key where you could replay or like make a video of the like 20 last second and stuff like that. Kind of cool. All right. One last drop before I have to go. Drop. Did you land, Max? Enjoy the rest of your scene. Thank you, buddy. Plus, you have C-sharp and .NET. Yeah, that's that's true. Um, so when you learn .NET, you have a lot of stuff in it. Oh, so, yeah, that's true. TypeScript? Have you ever tried Go? <laughs> nope. It will give you more power. No, I never tried Go. No, I don't like... I do uh, a lot of stuff and I learn... Like, even Node. I decided f one year ago, I didn't want to learn Node. Like, I was like, on purpose, not want to do learn Node. I said, nope. And here I am, learning it. Not Friday. Today, I'm supposed to be coding in C Sharp. <laughs> Instead, I'm just chit chatting. Should, should go chit chat mode then. Um, thanks, guys. Not regular, no. You will need to whip me up in two. <laughs> No problem. What do you think about implementing such a service in Azure and Azure services? So for forward email, um, and Aon Eddy, what's Aon Eddy? I don't know. So right now it's done in what? PHP and Vue. Well, you could deploy it right away. Uh, like in Azure, like to, to uh, what was the question? So uh, Stefan was asking, uh, creating a disposable email address. So you could deploy it probably right away into Azure uh, if you want. Like Azure support, the web app support PHP. Um, well, I don't know. I, I don't know those projects. Could put that in a, have a look. Like Firefox also introduce. Yeah, you did send that one, right? Forward, hard mail. It's also in the PHP, in JavaScript. But I'm assuming you can already like see far. You could do it like in Azure. You could host it in like ever like yeah, it support all languages. So you could probably just deploy it right away in Azure. Okay. So now, oh yeah, I want to do a demo. Uh, yeah, I was trying to show you. So trust me, I did a right click deploy, not right click. 
I don't want any trouble. So uh, I did the publish from no, not that one. This one. I did um, deploy using here the extension, so it's running. So I will I will go here and just run it. Well, F5 this this bad boy because we still have one thing to fix and I talked a lot today but we will have uh, time to fix it I think so here we are in the tiny blazer admin and now I could do login it will go connect me to Azure and I will use my account I will check the keep me sign so this next time so now I am I need to override also the um, the uh, default setting because I would like to be able to display something else here so now I could go we didn't clean anything in the project yet so like counter is still present we should remove that uh, so we can have URL manager so now it's calling securely oh, oh I know how to to show you that uh, we're calling the function let's slug stream I try a five yeah I never tried a five like when I was working before joining Microsoft I was working for a, a Microsoft partner and uh, a lot of our clients were using F5, so I heard about it, but I never use it. I try F5 uh, as well. Oh no, you're talking about the... Yes, there are some setting in uh, the folder, in the folder um, .vs or VS Code. In the VS Code, I mean, there are settings. So there's the launch and the task where you need to complete that. But usually when you do it, it doesn't exist. Uh, Visual Studio Code will ask you to populate those files. So now we are connected and we have a function here. So if I do a control R to refresh, do we see any logs here? Nothing yet. Okay, there it is. So URL list was called. There's a little bit of delay. And um, see, I'm authenticated as Fran Francois. And uh, we can we can continue like that. So now, if I do, let's say I want to add a new URL, and let's say I want to add URL shortener, GitHub URL shortener, and that's the thing I want to fix today. So see, here, this is supposed to be this here is supposed to be a model thing on top of, but because I don't have any JavaScript, sorry, it doesn't work. So we need to fix that. So that's what I would like to work on today. And uh, I should do a print screen. And we'll create a task. So, but it still work. But it's just, it's broken. But no, it still work, but it's ugly. <laughs> it doesn't look pretty. <laughs> you know, the guy. It's working, but it's broken should clip that uh, okay so the URL so let's paste the URL I don't have the URL why I don't know let's do it again so boom so now I have the URL I could say uh, um, vanity a vanity is the end of the URL so I could say easy URL shortener let's boom just like that and title you put whatever you want, you could put space, that's just for you. So you do that, boom, and now AZURL is there. Uh, it show you the, the clicks. So if you try, click on that link, it will bring you to GitHub, but then my point is it should update here the number of clicks. So hopefully some of you click that link. No, I will do it. I will do it and right now the URL was still long like if we look the URL it's still long because I don't have any domain name set since I'm just the point like I'm running locally and blah 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 but if you put something short let's say 
ca5m.ca, then this part will be replaced by your domain name, and then I will be just your short URL. So now I did click, so at least I should have one click. And a few of you <laughs> did, so thank you. <laughs> so we have six click. We'll see it's working. So now let's say I want to archive. So I could, you know what, I, we could edit. So edit could say just, you know, let's say I want to put the full name, so Azure. So now see, uh, what? Oh, maybe I didn't update it. Maybe I didn't redeploy. I found that error while I was doing, oh, like, you know what, it's fun fact, I need to show you that. So that's a thing, okay, so we need to see why this is not working. I think it's just before, because, um, because of something, it's not the latest version. And now if I archive this, it should just disappear. And if I go in the storage, Let's open the storage and while it's doing, I will show you in the code. So it was the update, right? That was, uh, it was wrong. Update, no, uh, where is it? Update, update. Um, so one of my problem was, um, It was case sensitive. Yeah, I was in the serialization, so in the input. So here I'm reading the body. So now I have the property insensitive but maybe I didn't push that version. So yeah, so when you're serializing and deserializing with the new .NET Core, by default, it's case sensitive. And for some reason, maybe because I do some, I don't know why, uh, sometime the case was not following correctly. So for the property name, I don't cares. Like, so I said, put the uh, case insensitive to true as an option when you serialize or deserialize. And in fact, when you deserialize, so taking the JSON object and put it back to it, but maybe the version running is not running that version. So you know what, we will deploy it again because it should be working. Uh, so what I will do is I will, okay, so before we do that, I need to show you the storage because funk2 is there and we archive it. So where is my uh, storage explorer? Too many windows open. Where is my storage explorer? I clicked on it, right? In your vi version, you have a bug with a longer arrow again. Oh, did I? No. Oh, I archived the long one? Okay, I will check. We'll unarchive it. So I need to go in my subscription and I need to go in the table and I think it's this one. And I need to go in tables. So we have two tables. We have the click stats that shows the statistics of the click exactly when the click are done and the URL details, that's our URL. So here I have 
the uh, is archive and it was Asia uh, AZ funk 2 that we had so see now it's true let's change it so let's edit and we'll put here we'll put false whoops okay update and let's do this one too false update and this one too on the maximum url ah! false voila okay everything is as false so now if i go in my thing i refresh i should have a bunch of stuff ah interesting you're right okay let's have a look that's strange good hi stefan thank you uh let's stop this so okay so first this is the window for the azure function so let's deploy that project so make sure we have the last version of it so we'll go here in the azure function remember i told you that's the app service that's the function so now i'm listing all my uh, Azure function in Azure and this one is the one we want the tiny admin so I will go click that one and I will click here the deploy want to go so the current project over there so the are you sure you want to yes I want to override so while this is like I'm not sure I should be moving too much So, middle of the week, how was your week, Cloudies? Good? Was it good? What are you working on? Okay, cool. So, it is updated. Excellent. So, now let's go check in the in the website version of it. Uh, if we go in the manage page. Ugh. Uh... So here we have the get this playable URL. So let's try to find this function. So it should be 049. Strange. That's strange. No, I, I just moved this code. That's really strange. Um, my code says, it is okay learning how to sequence diagrams since my manager wants to map out some stuff. Sequence my diagram. Using what sequencing uh, diagram, Michael? If I if I may ask. Okay, so now we did change that. So uh, since in C sharp it's zero base, so that's why when it was long. That's strange, though. I thought. Uh, if I check here in source of admin website, I thought we fixed that. Or maybe I didn't. Admin Blazor source uh, pages and and the page is short URL. Nope. 
Yeah, it is. Pages. Oh, you are out. And where is it? Oh yeah, here. URL displayable. Where is that function? It's in, oh, it's in short entity. Interesting. Draw you? Oh, that's cool. I love that tool. I use that tool too. That's how I did my uh, diagram and uh, and how it works. How to use it? How it works? This is how I did my diagram. What's happening? Hosting. Thank you for the host. I don't get host a lot of time. I was like. What's that sound? I need to do my voice with echo, like Thank you for the hosting, copper or something like that. So when my butt will be a little bit smarter, I will be able to do that. Though I think I could do it also with the uh, Streamlab butts, but... I want to use make the diagram since it's free and ever done sequence. Uh, yeah, so I use it. I need to update it, see? Because some um, methods are missing. Okay, so we fixed that. So now let's see if everything is working. So that's our UI. So let's F5 this. F5, I'm running in the book mode. That's what I mean. So boom. Should get authenticated automatically. Oh, we need to remove that thing too. Manage. Should look. Oh. That was a refresh. Okay, so uh, we need to edit, right? So here, let's edit this one. Are we following in Azure? Let's let's do a clear. So let's do now uh, Azure, Azure, save. Now it's working. Okay, so it was just not the last version. I fixed it everything everywhere and I then update. So if I do a control R, I still have like all my HTTP correctly, dot, 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 it's all working. And I have the update that is working. We did it. Yay. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. fantastic. Cool. So now we have everything we need, except we need to remove counter. But that's, you know, that's easy. Let's do that. Oh, we still need to manage the, okay, so. So that my, I, I shut it down. So we can close this guy, we don't need it. So now we need the model. And I, you know, Google, uh, did I, maybe I did. Frank, were you smart or not? Yeah, how to serialize and deserialize. See, I put some stuff, but um, I did. I think I just not did it when I was uh, like working. I just thought about that. So the blazer thing with the model. We can build one or we could just use some object that called the interrupt. 
like you know just do a this thing and so we could use that project i think it could be cool um then register the service and just call it or we do it and with css and everything i start following a guy explaining like how to do it is it this one blazer model example so what We don't need anything blazer model with no JavaScript enter up uh, I prefer if we're not using JavaScript enter up let's see how it goes so uh, we need to go not here not here not here we need to okay before I forgot let's remove the counter thing so for that we need to go and share in the nave menu so let's remove this guy here boom voila and we should remove this page here since we don't need it anymore boom fetch we don't need it anymore need also boom So now, now, what we want is go in our URL manager and we want to check what's this guy. So loading, voila. Yeah. Oh yeah, but I have two pop-up. I have the show with it pop-up and show this pop-up. Okay, no problem. So he was doing a div, a div, div, div. A class model and then a div class. It was a bunch of divs. So I think we need those two div, right? And this one will do something like, I oh know it's uh, exclamation point. No, nope. ah, come on, exclamation point. Let's do this. Boom. Voila. Okay. So now we have those two things. So we need to close them here. So we will do this and do div and another one. Voila. Uh, class, blah, blah, blah. ID. Our ID for this one was. Let's do a uh, create pop up. That's our ID. So create pop up, boom. Now we have div div. Uh, 
So let's keep that one for now like this. So after that, what he was doing? It was just blah, 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 blah. Okay, so he had a, a header and a footer and a content. Okay, so it was a little bit more than that. So let's do add this one then. I think it will be easier. And this. And now this is my model content, should go here. right and this is the close button uh, so the close button we want the close pop-up and this is the title here the title was Short URL requests. Right. Let's keep that one out for now. And after that, it was just doing mostly the same thing, right? Show model true. So everything else should be fine, I think. Yeah, close pop up. Let's try. Where are the odds? It's working or not? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, I need to refresh. Why do we still have the. Click model, okay. Oh, I don't have any, I think, cancel. How do you have your code organized in kind of similar how they look like? Or... Oh, thank you. I like when you have how you have your code organized. It's kind of similar to how I like to organize. <laughs> Thanks. Um. Yeah, but I don't have any model cancel. So I, for now, let's just do a close pop up for now. And we have the save. I think the save should be one of those two buttons here. We'll keep it for now like that as we try to run found element model. Yeah, okay. If I have five this, let's not maximize so I could see. Not sure it did work. Okay, so now we click this. We get authorized, uh, authenticated, cool. 
So now if I do add new, we have our model. Yay. And no JavaScript. That's cool. And it looked really cool. I have the delete, I have the cancel. I have my save. Cool. But now, um, so when I do this, I summon the form because I was creating a form. Is it form? Assuming, uh, could I do like we could move out like the model, the edit form, we could move it outside the div so it will include everything. We could do that. Model okay, model. Oh, we could just do a yeah. Or we could just do the save there. Yeah, we could do that, right? If we do so, here the summit was save short URL, 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 right? And we could say save instead of delete. I'm not sure I like the danger. Primary, boom. So now if we run that, I should have done the other one too. Will it work? Oh, I'm still running. I didn't stop it. Oops, my bad. Okay, so. Close the terminal, let's F5 this guy again, again and again and again. So, control R, let's make sure. Why it's, I don't know, terminal process. I need to understand this. Um, so if I URL manager now, if I do this, I have my save, so this is not required anymore. So let's go title new model. The URL is whatever, and I do this new model. It worked, it's working cool. So we'll remove the button here. Yeah, I love that. It's clean, right? Love it. Do I need to control C this? Boom. Okay, so 
Uh, now I could remove, uh, let's clean and then we'll do for the other one. So we don't need this line anymore. We don't need this anymore. We don't need this anymore. Cool. Uh, yeah, that's nice. Okay, so let's grab this thing again. And now for the edit pop-up. I figure it will be easier to... Uh... So I need, I need the edit form, right? So move that inside the content here. Boom. And we need to realign it like that. Now the button here, we don't need it anymore, anymore. Boom. But this one here will be, instead of delete, will be save. It will be button primary. And um, it was, I think I went too fast. No, here, is it form? So it's save, that's our stuff. So now unclick stuff and unclose its close pop-up. I think that's it. We should probably do, uh, I don't know, it's a lot of code. I'm assuming we should have some refact of that page to make it a little bit more, uh, like I just feel like it's a lot of copy paste. So usually it's not a good design, but it's kind of clear right now. Okay, I think we already did it. Did it. So let's, my hand is hurting this morning. Cool. Control R. Boom. Let's edit. Nice. Whoop. Oh no. Yeah. Test, test, test. looking good oh yeah I never tried that but uh, now when you mouse over oh, it disappear when I oh, it disappear when you mouse over a, a URL that is cut it show you the long version of it as a as a thing well what should I say usually I copy pay Copy pasting a lot mean there's something that can be extracted, but if it's too complicated, the extract fully sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I agree. So, Raphael Lang, what do you want me to say in Quebecois? What do you want me to ridiculous myself again? You better clip that though. <laughs> So just uh, put in English what you want me to translate, and I will translate it in Quebecois, in French Quebecois. That's cool. I think I think we're. That's funny. Did you see that? Uh, I think we're ready now. So we have all like I still want a better grid, but the better grid, and like I want the stats, but the better grid and the stats doesn't exist. How much time do we have? Maybe we, we could try to find a better grid. Yeah, maybe we could. Because the upgrading definitely will take more time. Um, so yeah, so we, now we have a good version. There's the grid and there's the stats. For the stats, I found 
Uh, there's a lot of class, but most of them are in uh, JavaScript, or I would need to use um, third parties stuff to make chart and blazer. So I definitely don't want to charts because I want to have something free. Uh, I think, was it Telerik? I think Telerik have today free version, but in the future it might become, or was it? Uh, is, was it Code Fusion? There's one that is free now, but like in the future it might be not free anymore. So I was like, eh, I'm not sure I want to do that one. So and the one I found was, um, see, I would like to have something like that. But uh, yeah, like I don't want anybody to pay for the product. The goal is to have a budget friendly. It's not fun if you need to pay to have the charts, right? So there's the DS chart for Blazor. But right now, apparently with so it's super cool, but right now for the Blazor version, like the WebAssembly, it's not working perfectly. So I think that might be or to go, but not like twenty uh, half an hour before the end of a stream. So let's put that in the show notes. Um, So Raphael, I still need you to tell me what you want me to redeem in Quebecois. You redeem in Quebecois. I won't start talking in Quebecois. Like this is this is an English uh, stream, but just tell me and I will translate. Is there a community license for Sync Fusion? If you qualify. Oh really? Yeah, but. Oh, that's cool. Codewood uh, Sean. No, that was uh, Sam UK. Sam Sam. Mab UK, sorry, butchering your name, but you know, Frank Butcher Boucher. Uh, was it Telerik or was it Sync Fusion? Sync Fusion. Well, so it will be free for me, but when you use it, will it also be free? Pricing. Cover. Unlimited goal license. Cover everyone if you organization is one for a low free and all. Yeah, no. I will need to check. Uh, so like let's let's see their charts. I'm sure they are pretty beautiful. Blazer. Yeah, of course it it is awesome. Um, control list, charts, yeah, it's super sexy. Let's put it there. So if you know other, oh, there are a few things in the chart. Uh, I'm not mistaking, most of the license are paid to develop with but not paid to use are oh, you right yeah but if you deploy from Azure or stuff like that is it considered like you're building it that's why like you're you're totally right like if I build something and I try to sell it then you're fine but like I'm giving you the code so then like you do the code like even if it's on github is it you're you're kind of still developing it. Like if I found people to add functionality, then they're definitely coding with it. So that's why I was like, mm. you're right. Like, damn it. Yeah. Uh, that's the license. Yeah. Could you, do you have a link, uh, Smab UK? Code with Sean, congrats. Dev Express is also a free deal. Oh, I think it was Dev Express. I forgot who it was. Someone like a Code Rush is with is it with Dev Express Code Rush? 
like is the company he's working for I had some tooling it was free right now but uh, they will change the billing eventually yeah that's cool yeah super cool of course of course it's cool like it's a third party they spend a lot of time and money doing it right of course it's nice okay so this this I'm sure will works that one was the one I think was pretty cool like like they are pretty sexy let me show you that so if we go uh, if you never saw that so there's a nougat package available for blazer uh, is it here where is the demo page there it is see like like the chart are growing and stuff like that so that could be cool but it's done in JavaScript it's I'm, I'm pretty sure all the uh, other also like leverage in the enter up and stuff like that but you know right I see your what you're saying yeah okay uh, trick for yeah like because I want people to code with it like of course like if yeah I'm not sure I could go with anything else that is open like I, I think I need to stay in the open source world so that's why like this one fits I saw other stuff that was very basic I could I could draw like a square but you know that's really sexy I really like it um, okay well I will have a look for uh, oh that was that was it that express I think I got it right already in my notes right yeah so Dev Express. Uh, so I'll have a check into that. Hey, Remley Geek. Good afternoon. How are you, buddy? It's been a while. Or maybe you're you came and you just lurked for a little while, but uh, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. I have now also uh, a robot part of my stream now so if people do drops they like have the bot keeping track of them and you could do stats and it display your stats and if I do scores that's comment for me it will display stuff and every time you beat your your high score then uh, the cloud bot CB will do a little dance for you but I need to redo my animated gif but yeah I remember this is a long time yeah indeed Kanwood Chan it just drop and you could put a, an emote if you want but just drop so many streaming yeah these days i don't know why everybody's streaming well i was streaming before the coronavirus thing pandemic Dev Express deal lasts until this software expired. 31. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dev Express deal lasts until this software. Really? Okay. I definitely have. Okay. So we are the 29. I have up to the 31 today. Today is a, a day where I try to get the, you know, like a very short word that start by H, uh, S, and N with it. You know get done that's a today day uh, yeah drop uh, I need to try and catch your stream more you're welcome to, <laughs> to join us I'm also streaming these days so these days I'm also streaming on Microsoft developers channel doing a lot of things Azure I have a, uh, like I'm part of the right now I, I was doing a lot but now I have colleague are taking part of it so we'll be sharing a little bit more the host part but three days a week so Monday Tuesday and Thursday we'll doing all around Azure 
It's pretty cool. Uh, but I'm done for this week. Next one is next week, and it will be. I forgot what it will be. It will be. Oh yeah, we are continuing to do Xamarin with uh, Laurent Bignon, uh, a colleague. And after that, I will be on Tuesday. I will be doing some Azure durable function with Max and uh, like doing um, digging into GitHub with some Azure function. Pretty cool stuff optimizing code and things like that. He did crazy stuff and visualization also. Uh, get a crap done day. Yeah. <laughs> kind of. Um, good morning, music bookworm. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Happy to see you. Uh, Copper Birdie says, what? Good morning. Okay, blah, blah, blah. I uh, get an email notification that Copper Birdie starts streaming, but it's 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> what are you you're streaming and watching copper birdie how does that work or just the host maybe when you host someone does it send a notification this is why i'm hoping to lose the ability to uh, work from home wasn't a thing before i looked down yeah what this is why I'm hoping to, I'm hoping I lose the ability to work from home. Wasn't a thing until local down, lockdown, local down. I can watch more streams. Don't lose. Okay. I was like, what? <laughs> See? <laughs> like, that doesn't make sense. Doesn't compute. Uh, yeah, okay, let's me show you uh, the scores uh, if I do this command, but uh, unfortunately uh, CB is not showing up, but like now it's showing the high score and uh, I, I feel it's a little bit tiny, but I think it's better on your screen and It looks right now like a bug Yeah, I didn't know the proper way to do like wait, so I just kind of act my way, but yeah. And now if I do cloud, I think it should display CB dancing. But I need to do again my um, my animated GIF because I did it using Camtasia and Camtasia doesn't support transparent background. So uh, I could do it with Cam, uh, DaVinci Resolve or Animate from Adobe. So yeah, so that one I like, uh, I might use that. Um, yeah, so we have three, I don't want too much choice, too much options because you know how they say, too much is like not enough. Um, yeah, let's control C, this guy. And now what I would like to do do we have the time? We could we could see like maybe we'll be able to do it a grid like a nice table or grid table. Of course, again those tools. <sighs> Grape City. Yeah, I think. Hmm. Yeah, I was like, it's been a while since I am uh, in the um, data grid. Oh, I think, isn't it the C Sharp Fritz? Jeff, didn't he create a grid? Like, I don't need a fancy grid. Like, I just need, like, yeah, I don't want a fancy grid. I want filters and sorting and mostly filters. What's that project coming by? That's good. From Coldplex?
Yeah, that's what I want, like the filters. The filters because on my version, can I share that quickly? Like on my real version, I have a lot of links and I just start using that tool. So like see it's very long because now it's fetching all the links. So like I want to be able to filter and page and all those things. I don't want to show too much all the links. Um, so I want to like page so it could reply quickly and you could say, oh, show me page two or like you could filter. Let's say, oh, I want to see the URL I did for this blog post. So you could, you know, like maybe search by key or something. So definitely do something like that. So it's more than a CSS, I think. Um, the CSS trick has the article for a responsible some. Oh, if you know the, um, the URL, Michael, share it. Yeah, that's why I coach, coach but I think the uh, what, like fork from this. So he got like, in fact, he took a JavaScript, a jQuery grid and kind of migrating in Blazor, probably doing some uh, JavaScript interrupt. And that's why it's fork from that thing, like the grid MVC. Like grid and VC is a grid ASP.NET for, um, yeah. I had I have some tools in there. I had an open source tool I did. I did the um, Azure SQL database manager or something like that. And I said, I think it's in Coplex archive. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, C Sharp Fritz, he did something, right? He did a bunch of... Um... He did some toolings, I should ask him. Web for, oh yeah, but there was a... Uh... I think it's, they are server side, right? What he worked, it was not the web assembly. Blazor web form. Well, Mike, I no problem. I trust you, Michael. You, you gotta have put it in the chat. I'm fine. Thank you for whisper whispering it. Is it the thing whispering it? Who whispered to me too? Shirley Dev, is it today? Is hurting that much yeah but that's CSS well yeah it could be it could be a little bit more like teen but uh, I didn't spend time because yeah if I'm implementing the sort and the group and like all the paging I will be using a, a component so that's why I didn't team it but you're right otherwise I would have done that I, I'm not sure um, it makes sense to use uh, Jeff stuff I think it's a, uh, yeah, web control. I don't think it is what I'm looking for. Uh, I think, oh. Hmm. Uh, close all my tab. Blazor. Free. Oh, UI component. Oh, was it in Fragistic? Okay, so free grid. In Fragistic, in There's one of the, like the major player who today 
the stuff is free. Yeah, I think it, it was just like, yeah, the, that's the point of uh, what C Sharp Fit was doing, uh, Michael, having a retro style. I think generally, the, whoop, what's happening? What's happening? Come on, Laws. Thank you for the following. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Welcome aboard. We'll add you to the show notes and the new followers. Because right now the bot is doing it, but uh, the bot is not showing me enough information, so I need to maintain that file manually. Um, yeah. CSS, rapid prototyping, best test. What? Are you not talking about the um, six blazer component library to speed up? Okay. Oh, that's not too bad. Free coming science sense. Okay. Sorry. That could be cool too if they have charts, general button. Do you see the grids? Container maybe? No. Where's the grid? Data? Oh, data grid. It's not pretty, but uh, like it's not ugly. There's no. Can I like? There's the paging. Oh yeah, and there's the filter. That's cool. But I will feel safer, honestly, with a company I know. Like. stuff I could be cool so I just need to uh... You should make a component from scratch. Yeah, I could. I could. But uh, you know what? Like, I think I love the idea of making my own component, but I want that thing out. And right now... Though, yeah. Like, I mean, I could do paging and stuff. At the bottom, thank you. Well, the call, this one, the call, call them. The OSS link. Below. Oh, complementary licensing. Can I make community licensing? 
Oh yeah, that's why I have it before I had the MVP license. I was like, had those things before? Okay. Who's eligible? Company and individual with less than a dollar. One million dollar. Yeah. <laughs> and five. Well, yeah, that's cool. Okay. I will ask for that. I think we'll do that. The to-do list is the ill word of the component and mostly done. Yeah, I don't think doing a grid, like I don't want like a super fancy grid. So I think I could manage to do that. Uh, and I think it will be paired very well with the function. I could make the function evolve. Um, but if I have a very smart grid, I could push that further down below. And like also like the chart, that's also a component I want to do. Uh, come up, call mug, call muck. Sorry, call muck huds. Yeah. So, but I think that I will ask for that because they have very nice stuff. So I think I could be using this. And it's for an open source project, so I'll definitely do that. And uh, yeah. Okay, you know what? Let's push this code since we were done, right? Do we start? So that's secure function. That was done. Did we change anything? I don't think so. If I look, URL shortener. Yeah, we didn't touch anything. So tiny blazer. I think we're ready to uh, to push this last code and bring it to main. But uh, the documentation won't be uh, accurate though. Should we wait until maybe we should wait? Um, all feature of previous version R N. Boom. Except the easy deployment. Let's push it. I'm very tempted to uh, to make it mm, we'll keep it in the uh, simple MVP for now. I need to update that thing. Because it's not working yet. Well, it is. You just need to deploy it manually. So what to do? Okay, hello, the open source. I, I read that. Uh, book all these. Fact in my decision. Make my own biggest problem. Canva. Yep. So answer. Travis model S N. Yeah, SVG could be cool too. But there's a few. Uh, Google does a, does a, a library, but uh, yeah. Or you you do some interop and use some JavaScript stuff. Like if you use a D3 or like a, the GS grid, that could be done also. Cool. So we did push. So if we go on our board, now this is this is done. Um, oh, like, you know what, like, how much time do I have? Uh, do we have a VNX in here? We don't have a VNX. I could do uh, a VNX branch here and merge that in VNX. And uh, yeah, so let's do that. So in here, Here, can I do? Okay, 
in here I want to create a new branch Phoenix Phoenix create the branch Phoenix from main cool so now I want to merge let's refresh that refresh fetch origin voila so now I want to put this guy and move it to vnex start a pull request yep Cool, so now we have a pull request. So let's merge it. Boom. So now it's in VNX. Yeah. So I could in the board create a Phoenix. And now this thing here going there and the next stream will be working on I think the packaging like we need to merge so right now we have two project right we have the tiny blazer admin let's put it here and we have the URL shortener so this guy here and this guy here all right, all right. what's happening What's happening? Hey, thank you for the the following CFC blah, 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 fame fame CFC fame. Thank you. Welcome to the stream. Let's put you quickly in the followers for today. Three followers today. It's cool. Like it. Like it. Um. So yeah. So. We have two projects. So we have the tiny blazer admin, and that's only one UI possible inside the URL shortener. And the beauty of the URL shortener is with one click deployment, you deploy, it deploy that in your Azure subscription, and you pick. You don't like serverless, like just headless, just like the back end. Do you want to use a uh, Stefan, was it Stefan? Create a like SharePoint version of it, or a Flow version of it, or like the server version of it, or you could be using the Tiny Blazor admin and be client side and super budget. So we need to merge, fudge those two projects. Uh, but for the Tiny Blazor admin to get deployed in Azure, uh, it's a little bit more tricky. I think I'm going to leverage the static uh, Azure website because that will work. But uh, right now, the t like officially, it only support JavaScript and I'm not in JavaScript. It works in C Sharp, but it's not like it's not the happy path. You need to, you know, go on the side a little bit. Uh, but the fun thing, if I'm using that uh, uh, Azure static website, the domain name and all the like the uh, CDN content delivery network will be managed so that's kind of cool for URL shortener uh, so I think it's the way to go but then like if we go this avenue I need to make sure that someone who already have the version have like a very easy path to migrate to the new version I think it will just be like yeah I'm not moving your data and like redeploy everything but you know, we need to have like a chart of everything. So I think on the next stream, it will be a lot of thinking and planning and make sure like the merge and the new version V1, in fact, I will be V1 uh, is done smoothly. I think that's the plan. I think that's the plan. What do you think? Do you think it's a good plan? I think it's a good plan. 
I think it's it's a not bad plan at <laughs> all. Hopefully you think like me because pretty sure that's what I will do. Uh, so let's go see um, who's streaming right now. Well, let's uh, Twitch. Let's go see the live coders. Uh, Coding Garden, we went see him last stream. So let's begin butt. Look like he's doing a butt. Catching being butt right after, what's what he doing? Learning go, okay. Um, throwing pup is working on a client project website design. Oh, that could be interesting. Uh, Mishmatter is she server back on back online? Black breach come blue fancy horse. I don't understand what it is. No, she's. Server back online. Oh, okay, yeah, she's gaming. I was like, yeah, usually she's gaming. No, no, no. Uh, we're, we're not going for a game. Um, let's go see the, the website design. What do you like? Any suggestions? Uh, so do you want to go for a website design or the uh, go? Someone mentioned go earlier. So let's go for go. I, I never did try go. I won't be able to watch for a long time though, but... Oops, sorry, I need to mute you. So let's do this and put that and put this. Yes, they are showing. Cool. And now I need to go here and do this and do that. Let's raid. Let's raid everybody. So welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you for being on my stream today. It was very really cool, very appreciated. I think everyone was really helpful uh, sharing your knowledge, useful link, information. Uh, so got some typo. Uh, found. I hope you did the, the issue. I forgot who found it. But uh, to all of you, a big thanks, and I will see you Friday when I'm playing, missing around building that chatbot in JavaScript, learning Node in JavaScript, and having fun because it's Friday. But until then, I would say bye bye and raid, and then done.